Yeah, th thank you. Uh, I want to thank Mudo for the thoughts he has shared with us. He has spoken professionally. Uh, I also thank Alagi Tanko. He has spoken like a politician. But what I'll say is that we have gone beyond the point that Alagi Tanko is in the country. He is still at the level of um, stating the obvious, the problems, and trying to pass political blames. No, we have gone beyond that point in this country. Solutions, pragmatic solutions between government, the governed, and everybody. That is the level we are now. Yes, talking of those allegations, I, I hear them, I see them, I see videos, people that you think should know, people that you think are well-educated, people that you think should be uh, large-minded minded enough, still operating from small prisms of ethnic consciousness and making wild allegations about security in the country. They are not helping the situation, but it's a democracy. They can say whatever they want to say. It, it, it doesn't mean that what they are, what we are, they are saying is founded on truth. But they should realize that when they make those wild allegations, those things are not good for the country. Those who are working on security are working, and we should all team up with them so that we can find solutions to these serious plagues in the country. So when the issue was raised by Alaji Tanko, uh, looking at how much have been spent in the last five years under this government in tackling insecurity in the country, and the result we have seen so far, how would you say that we have come in terms of that comparison, the result, and how much has been put into fighting security, insecurity in Nigeria, Mr. Additional? Yes, I really wonder where Alaji Tanko got his statistics from. Because to the best of my knowledge, uh, I, I, I don't think that is in the public domain. When he came up with that figure, I was baffled. Because that figure is not founded on any official statement. I don't know where he got his figure from. Today, at the security meeting, a lot was said about procurement. Procurement. And most of the security agencies did not complain of equipment. Yes, additional equipment are coming in from Jordan, from China, from the United States, but the, the complaint was not majorly about equipment. The military is well equipped. But, but would you say that the result justifies the spending on, uh, on uh, insecurity in Nigeria under the, the government of President Buhari? Is, has it been justified, the result we have seen so far? Yes, uh, I, I'll say that nothing, nothing spent on security is ever too much because every other thing revolves around de security. Development revolves around security. Healthcare, education, economy, everything revolves around security. So there's no amount you spend on security that is ever too much. But that does not mean that you also begin to waste resources or misallocate resources or misappropriate them. Resources right. must be well uh, utilized.